Oh. Moving on. I have this topic you? got a problem with your parents. With your dad? With your dad? With your Marge? With your Marge. Because we are the parent problem fixers over here. I'm joking, I'm not concerned. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, people. 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 Ish everything is back with another video. Yes, yes, people. Ish everything here. Back again with another video. And if you're the color people. Yes, yes, people, it's your boy, it's everything, and we have Islam here. Wagwan people. But anyways, we are on, what, this is, I think it's the seventh episode of the Mukbang podcast, so. Something like that. This is the first time me and you have done a Mukbang podcast alone. 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 Yeah. There's no Rach. I was, I was going to say Rafiq. There's no Omar. It's just Islam and his, I was going to say fathead, but that's so deep, isn't it? No, I don't have a fat head, I can't lie. No, you don't. I don't. Yeah, you don't. Nice head. Anyways, we've got some boxes in front of us. Um, we've ordered from Oodles Noodles this time. No one wanted to give me food for free for the video. If there are people that know people that own restaurants and stuff and want to, you know, send us food to do the mukbang videos with, DM me on Instagram. My Instagram will be there. Make sure you subscribe and let's get into the deep, deep, deep topics. Deep. Very deep. So basically, let me give you a background of the topics we're discussing. Me and Islam, we had a little deep conversation about life like a week ago or so. Yeah. And we're just talking about mental health and issues that I've had, issues that he've had, he's had, and issues with parents and stuff. So we're, we're, it's a bit of a taboo subject, isn't it? Interesting though. Very interesting. Nice. Very relatable to a lot of people, but taboo because a lot of people don't really have the balls to speak about this kind of stuff. Definitely. Agreed? 100%. Right, cool. Let's open up the food and then Starving. and then we need to take a thumbnail as well. Oh. Wait, which one's which? I already gave you yours. Are you sure? Yeah, you ordered chips. They look dead. No, they look dark. Oh, ah, oh, that looks dark. I don't know about the carrots though. <laughs> mm. Let me show you lot what I'm dealing with here. Oh shit, it fell from. <laughs> and well, like I knew that was gonna happen. What's so cool? <laughs> but basically, I was gonna mind. Oh, this is so leg. Oh. Let me tell you lot what we have. What we have, what I have is egg fried rice. What do you have? This one. Egg fried rice. I have sweet and sour chicken and crispy chicken. And I have one other thing I think, I can't remember. Oh, um, chili chips. Yeah. And what do you have? Udon noodles. Wait, barbecue chicken. Wait, what else did I get? This is oh, teriyaki chicken as well. Oh. Anyways, people, um, let's get straight into the topic. So, today's episode, we're discussing mental health. Uh, something that a lot of people, including myself, including Islam, definitely including Sorry Islam. to interrupt you, but I'm going to be eating like a pig. <laughs> but same, I can't, I'm, I'm hungry. hungry. I'm hungry as well. So, disclaimer. Mental health. So, with mental health, I feel like it's important to address that. We can only speak from our own experiences. 100%. So, so we're gonna speak from our back, from a bias, isn't it? In a sense, yeah. In a, in a sense, yeah. But it's like, everyone has their own experiences, so we can only speak about ours, basically. We can only comment on exactly. what, we've, what we've gone through. Exactly, but just because it's a very touchy subject. And I think the generic, like, overall mm -hmm. aspect of mental health is the same. Yeah. Yeah, people go through difficult times and so on however our own individual experiences kind of define us if that makes sense mm. so what are we speaking about mental health cool do you want to start speaking about our own experiences first like our own experiences of mental health like what mental health means to you like so you lot would have seen this right now um by, by the time this video comes out you would have seen the video that i did um feeling stuck in life so i feel like this uh it's a very minor form of mental health. It, it, and like I said, I feel like there's a, mental health issues that I've experienced in the past that are a lot deeper, like, and a, a lot more severe, but the form, the, the feeling stuck in life thing, it, it was a difficult process uh, to get out of, but it wasn't exactly like suicidal levels, like where mm. I, I definitely have had them kind of levels before in, in, in my lifetime. Alhamdulillah, I'm not depressed right now or anything like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, man. One important thing about mental health that I want to mention, and it's something that 
Islam struggles with a lot. Something that I don't really struggle with as much, and I think there's a very important thing to talk about. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with your mental health issues or whenever you've had mental health issues? Because that's what they want to know, if anyone is suffering mm -hmm. from it. And he deals with it very badly, I'm telling you. Okay, now, I, I disagree and agree, okay? Mm -hmm. So, for me, naturally, yeah, I don't like to burden people. No. I know what you're going to say, but naturally, I don't like to put my problems on other people's problems because I feel like right now, yeah, being in a pandemic, everyone's going through it in some kind of way, right? So for me, <clears throat> I feel like... You know what I'm dealing with? Disrespect. Fuck. Oh. I would laugh if that drops so over you. It's not even focusing. Hurry on, bro. Sorry to interrupt. Anyways, yeah, be sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, like for me, I like to confide in a certain amount of people, but also sometimes one thing that I'll hundred percent say works works for me, and we both know. Yeah, I ain't even gonna talk. <laughs> shit, shit. He's pulling out day one right now. You lot, I already know. So you can see, like, I journal in in day one a lot, and for me, yeah, people always used to say to me growing up, oh yeah, you know what? Write your write your thoughts, write your goals. I always used to dismiss it because for me, I'm I'm a bit lazy. I'm not gonna lie. When it comes to those things, but genuinely, when you write down your thoughts, yeah, you feel this kind of sensation of like it's come out. Like I'm writing it down, you know. So that's what I do. And when I'm and the thing is, yeah, the best thing about day one or just writing it down, you can look back at yourself in a month or two. You think, damn, like and yeah, bro. I've changed so much. Like you know, when I look back, like I'll share one. I can't lie, I will share one. You know, let's make this a special. Video. Have you watched the episode of me and Omar? Yeah, I think so. But I'll share it just to think. So. Okay, but not that one. <laughs> um, okay, look, so this one is, wow, what a week last week was. I genuinely think I've never had a more sleepless and active week in my life. I slept about five hours a day, waking up at 6 a.m. and I can't even talk about um, <laughs> Friday night. I don't know what I says here, but. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, see, I don't remember, but like, I remember, look here, I said here, I said here, look. Why so, doesn't he remember? <laughs> SubhanAllah, <laughs> that night just reminded me of how if Allah wants something for you, he will make sure you get it. And if the opposite applies, we were told that a particular shop opens at 2.30 a.m. And we we're desperate for the time to pass or something. We were both cold and comfortable. Oh yeah, me and, me and Rafiq were waiting to get sugar cane at a shop. Because <laughs> some guy was like to me, he'll give me two bills for it or something. So I dragged him along. And then, yeah, I was just talking about like, if Allah basically wants to make something work for you, he will. Yeah, go on. So guys, I have glasses now. <laughs> Look. Oh my days, bro. It's actually HD, man. No, I said we thought, we thought it'd be a one to three hour job, three hours max. We, we got there, we got there eleven fifteen, and we left at three a.m. <laughs> bro, bro, I'm very happy the fact that you're journaling. Yeah, um, I'm very, very happy. You know what I'm even more happy about? What? <laughs> when you had your phone there, without my flipping glasses, I couldn't see shit. <laughs> man. I swear to God, bro. Glasses suit you, though. I feel like it brings a whole new smile. But. <clears throat> Thank you. Anyway, back to the point. Back to, back to journaling. Yeah, I just feel like journaling is a really good thing. And one other thing that I do want to say here, because people have actually asked me myself, because I also, one thing here, I think that social media sometimes gets you in a thing where you feel like everyone is doing good around you. Does that make sense? So people get cooped up in this idea that you're this perfect figure. Like, does that make sense? So I feel like you have this subconscious pressure, right? And when people ask me, oh, like, what is the best way you deal with it? And I'll tell you this for, for a fact. Grab a whiteboard or grab a piece of paper, mm -hmm. split it in half, yeah? No, don't split it in half. On that, on that piece of paper or whiteboard, write down everything that's troubling you, yeah? Mm -hmm. Then go back to it and start everything that's in your control. So one thing I've learned and people told me is focusing on, on what's in your control first. Okay. I Does that make sense? Completely. And then work from that, then everything else solves itself. That's what I would say. Try it. So it's, it's a very, Sorry, very- I just wanna see how many you have. I haven't used it for a while. No, we have about the same. I've been very, very lazy. But people, basically, you know, it's funny that he mentioned day one because, wallahi, I had no intention of bringing day You introduced day one to me, right? Yeah, I, yeah. Did, I did. But I'm saying it's funny how you mentioned oh. it on this video because I completely had like... After really? Me, yeah, what do you mean, really? Like, you didn't think about bringing it in. For me, I knew I'd bring it in. Oh, see, I had no idea because I mentioned it with Omar already. Oh, yeah. But it's funny. The reason I'm saying it's funny, people, I'm going to take this off because I feel like a nerd. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying it's, it's funny that you mentioned it because I have a journal entry relating to something like this. Um, now what? I'm going to tell you exactly. Go on. 
on the 12th of October 2019, yeah. So this is before my very first Umrah video. Yeah, this is very, before you lot ever ever knew who I was, knew who Islam was. Or anyway, actually they all knew who he was from viral Ryanair video, but <laughs> but 12th of October 2019, I said, I want to have 50,000 views on a Umrah vlog. I want to help, I want wealth, I want to inspire, I want to give back, I want to host a TED talk, I want to make this I think you have 50 famous. views on Umrah. I, do I? Go on. 42. 8k. Guys, watch the Umrah vlog. <laughs> Just click on it and then jump off. The battery died. As always, Sony ZV-1 has the worst battery life from cameras ever. So if anyone wants to be a YouTuber, just be very wary. I have like three backup ca um, batteries because the battery is so bad. Um, but like I said, oh yeah, the reason I mentioned the app thing is because mm. I literally said, I want to make this app famous. What app? This app, day one. Oh, I swear. Because I was writing it on day one. Look. And I said, I will get it right here. I, I, want, I want an audience that wants to grow and I will get it. And the reason I wrote, I want to make this app famous is because I know how much this app has helped me offload my brain. Like so much, bro. And Islam is someone there. When I first met him, I told him, what do I always say to you? Well, so alike. Like, I, I, feel, I, I, so alike. I literally feel like he's um, like a younger version of me. I'm a reincarnation of you, even though Islamically you don't believe me. <laughs> Yeah, and, and I've said this a lot. Um, he's very similar in his mannerisms and his stupidity and uh, his bad Lengness. habits. <laughs> nah, Langness, you've got a way to go. <laughs> <laughs> but but I told him about it because I knew he'd be hooked onto it as soon as he found something that like that, mm. and he has been. So I'm very happy. And if you guys don't know about and it, it's free. Yeah, if, you, if, if you don't know about it, and and you literally want to try it out because if you don't try you never know like you just don't know how good or how much it will help you until you actually try it out it's free on the app store i ha and this is not a promotion or anything <laughs> like i have been through yeah yeah it is not a promotion if you want to pay me day one feel free to shoot me an email my email will be in the bio because that will be lit i'll be sponsoring you so Constantly. much bro yeah bro like Constantly. your biggest ambassador of life yeah. No, but hands on, it's actually a good app. Amazing. And I don't know, equally, some people might obviously like to write down their thoughts too. I just I just feel like I don't have the... have it in me. Do you know what I mean? I'm right in this day and age because everyone's kind of you just using it. And do you know what I like about it? I'll always have it. Mm. With a journal, like, I feel like I'd lose that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Also, if you feel like what you're speaking about is deep, you can also add screen lock on there. <laughs> For the record, I've done that. <laughs> oh, swear. Yeah. I have never, but my, some of the things I've I said, have. I don't trust. I don't know. Some of the oh. things I wrote on my journal, if they ever got out, I'd be cancelled. <laughs> cancelled. Just know I'm taking the first flight to Mexico. When you wrote on the Mbasa, cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I read it? No, I don't. <laughs> Cancel, G, that's Can it. Cancel. Suffer like me, Allah forgive us. Amen. I mean. I mean, I'm joking, by the way. But, anyways, I want this to slowly. And I know we were talking about mental health, and he's gave some, some ways to help. And, and I, this wasn't like a way to kind of help your mental health. This is more of a discussion of kind of what we've been through, like in a way. And, and you basically showed a small way to how to cope. My biggest way, like, I want to slowly touch on this before we move on to the, the problems with dad or, or parents topic. Um, I want to slowly touch on this before you flip in twat. <laughs> <laughs> I want to... Mm. I forgot that kid in Matilda. You know the fat kid who used a chocolate cake at the end? In Matilda? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bruce! <laughs> and <then continue. laughs> I want to slowly say this. Uh, before we uh, quickly say this before we move on we've not spoken enough about the topic though yeah I feel like there used to be one more little thing that I, I would I say think, okay go on. so I would say when when Islam's had problems and stuff and mm. when I've had problems there's one thing that's helped me and there's one thing he hasn't done and until he's done it it's helped him a lot do you know what that is speak something about it yeah I have done that though okay cool. okay well the biggest thing I want to speak about the thing I want to touch on the most is as males this is the biggest thing. As males, 
you know, who experience bad mental health, it's harder to come to your boy, yeah, and chat to my boy because you sometimes feel like he won't understand, right? So for me, I confide in <laughs> females. <laughs> Sorry. I confide in females. Now, nah, I confide in like two of my female friends who are really close to me. Shout out to you. Um, if I have anyone saying, oh, you shouldn't be friends with girls in the comments here, I'm actually just gonna <laughs> block you, fam. Listen, they're more, they're more family than friends. Yeah. That they've come, they know my parents. Yeah. That my mm -hmm. So basically, um, I'll cancel myself. <laughs> Two female friends and they've come to my house and my parents are My cousins rewind. <laughs> rewind. <laughs> rewind. Message. <laughs> cousins. <laughs> Anyways, I don't need to prove myself right now. <laughs> back to the topic. All of this is staining. Back to the topic, yeah. Um, uh, what's I gonna say? So back to the topic. What I'm trying to say is, sometimes you might, as a male, not want to confide in someone, right? Which is for me, I naturally feel that sometimes, right? So I feel like if I confide in someone else who's not a male, they might understand me, right? So that's why, you know, for people like us, you might find it easier to write in a day one if you don't have anyone else to confide in. But one thing I do want to say is, don't ever, ever feel that you're alone, ever, right? And the reason why I say this is because. Trust me, right now being in lockdown, there's thousands upon thousands of people going through it and more time, the people are going through it, you won't know. Because you know for me, one thing I do is I don't like to show it. I won't come and tell you, oh, I'm not feeling good, bro. I'll, I'll smile and I just brush say, it. Can I just say, yeah, and this is not me being inspirational <laughs> or, or emotional. This is literally me being real. <sighs> I built this entire platform of man, this small little family that we have over here. I built it so mm. you know that you're not alone, bro. Like, I'm no one different to you at all, bro. If you see a video, you've already seen the video. I'm sure you've seen it because it'll be out by the time this is released, the uh, Stuck in Life video. The same problems that you go through, I go through, he goes through. We're not claiming to be anyone different. The only reason I want to grow on this platform is to show you that if me, someone that's full with problems and here, man, we have all issues can do it then you can do it too 100 percent. like they, they, like that's literally why i've kind of built this platform um and it's not even a platform it's just a very tiny little family that we have but that's what i consider it ish family. Mm. i don't know it, it, uh, whatever it's. and one last thing that i want to end on yeah is that what you like i like this quote yeah it's like what you do today will be the strength you have tomorrow mm -hmm. so as much as the steps you will take to speak to someone. Cause you know mental health, all it is is this, very simple. As humans, we're on a road, right? Sometimes you lose track, you know? Sometimes you'll lose track on that road and all you need is someone to just align you back to where you're going. That's all it is. And that's how I want people to think of it, right? I know it's it's got, you know, mental health has got a stigma around it. It's to be, but can I just say something here? So he, he went, I just want people to take a step back and look at the situation because I like to see things from a different perspective a little bit. Yeah? Mm. You went from not telling me, who's one of your closest friends, about what you was going through at the time. So mm. I, I, I found out after he spoke to me. Not talking to me. Now coming to on big, big YouTube to talk about it. Do you not understand how much balls it takes to do that? Do you even understand how much balls it takes to tell someone your your um, the, the problems that you're feeling? Like, don't undermine it. It takes a lot of balls. The question you have to ask yourself is, do you have those balls? Because it takes a real man to talk about their problems. Do you know what I'm saying? Hundred. And people just people think I'm a you man. Feel vulnerable. Can, That's people vulnerable. People think is. I'm a man. I can deal with it. I have to deal with it. Like, like. Do you know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. just not the case, bro. On humans, on the planet, we are humans. The only way we grow is we support each other and we push each other. 100%. That's 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 the being of of being a human and and being a muslim. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you agree? 100%. You have no option. Also, <laughs> my name. Also one other thing, I want to talk about religion quickly, yeah. Don't want to waffle, but sometimes it's nice for someone to come with you with come to you with a religious perspective and I understand it, right? But also sometimes it's not the the thing you want to hear. Mm -hmm. So I want to know what you think of that. Very good question. Like what would what? Very good, very very. Because you know sometimes, like not in a bad way, but that's sometimes why I don't want to 
tell people because I don't want them to say, oh, go pray, or bro, like, trust me, it's all right, it's Allah's plan, or stuff like that. Like, bro, 100 not want to hear million that. percent understand you, and every single one of them understand you as well. I promise you. The way I deal with that. So, I'll give you an example, yeah. I got invited to an Islamic talk show for, uh, for Ramadan. Um, this Ramadan? Yeah. So have you? Yeah. Um, I just I, said, so <laughs> I got invited to some Islamic talk show for Ramadan. And... Iran channel, isn't it? I don't know. I, I can't remember what... It's, a, it's like a TV show. Mm -hmm. And it's very Islamic based. And I, like, you lot have noticed me. The people that watch me, I like to talk about Islam. But I really don't like preaching. What I like to do instead of preaching is talk about my own personal experiences and how much things have changed for me when I've done different yeah. things. That way, Islam, when we were speaking and when you told me about your issues, mm. I told you, I, I basically related it to me, yeah. spoke about the things I'd done, yeah. and that kind of gave you perspective like, okay, I'm not telling you go pray. Yeah. I'm not telling you make the air because we know these things. I'm just... I'm, it, when when you when I tell you about things that have happened to me and how things have changed for me, when I've done like the right things, uh, when I hear it from someone else that yeah. they've changed their ways and it's it's like a hopeful. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It gives you a bit of hope that that it's not like this pushy. You're not feeling. alone, basically. Yeah, it's not this. It's not this pushy feeling like oh, things are not going your way. Yeah. Go pray two extra. Like all of that is good. I'm telling you, but people have to want it in here, innit? I'm sure. Not just in here. Because if it makes sense in your head but not in your heart, it's not the right thing, bro. Like, it's not going to work the way you want it to. Mm. Um, but I want to move on um, to, like, I think we've... Like, what we'll do is, if you, if you think this topic should be a lot longer uh, regarding the mental health and stuff, like this video, get this to 1,000 likes. And I'm a chatty patty, I can speak all day. So. Yeah, same. <laughs> and me and Islam will do another video um, regarding this. Eating Caribbean food. Or anything you guys want. Drop a comment in the comments below if, you know, what you think, things that you've gone through. If, if you know, like people, you know, people DM me with like mental health issues and stuff. Like, I always... I that too. Yeah, yeah, do you as well? Yeah. Yeah. I genuinely do always try to reply and it's very, very difficult, but I yeah. actually genuinely do. Like if the messages are, you can clearly see someone needs a bit of guidance, yeah. not like Islamic guidance, but just a general motivation, like a pick me up. Yeah. I will do that because that's, I just feel like um, people have done that to me. So why can't I kind of do? So I, I always do try to, um, even though I get a lot of messages and it's very difficult sometimes and so does he. So if you need anything, drop us a little message on Instagram. We, we are no promises. I don't want to make any promises because, bro, sometimes the DMs. I'll try my it. best to reply. Yeah, I'll try my best, but no promises, even with him, because we don't want you to say, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. I have have you got a problem with your parents? With your dad? With your dad? With your Marge? With your Marge. Cause we are the parent problem fixers over here. I'm joking. I'm not. Nah. No. <laughs> Don't put me on opposite. Yeah. So, what I do want to talk about is people. I'm so full. I feel like I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Go on. Go do on. you want some of this? No, no, no. I wasn't even. Definitely. Gonna, I wasn't even. I wasn't even gonna offer it. Because I, like, like I want to finish this. Anyways, go on. So, what I want to speak about is there's a lot of people that have issues with their parents. Yeah. If you are one of those people, this is definitely to you. And you are actually speaking to someone that has had, past tense, a lot of issues with their parents. Um, mainly father, not mother. Um, and Islam, I'm not too sure what you want to say on that issue. <laughs> Put me on the spot. No, for me, I'm, I, I want to be open about it. And the reason why is because I want to be able to help, not help, but like relate. relate to someone, you know? Okay, cool. Man, and father too, so. Right, that's cool. why we're in, on similar, you know? Right, so, what I want to say, yeah, and this is a very, very mad discussion we're about to have, and it will take up the majority of the video, um, potentially. There was a point in time where my dad literally said to me, Either you go anger management for your issues with me, or you leave the house. 
I've told you about this. Yeah, you told me story. Because all I used to do when I used to get angry and used to argue with him was just punch walls. And it's probably you lot are probably thinking, oh, what a typical Asian boy. Oh, <laughs> what an Asian oh, hard. <laughs> what a hard boy. <laughs> what a hard fighter. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but honestly, like, it would, my, my frustration, my anger, and all of that was to such a high extent where I just needed to release it and I used to punch walls. There was a point where I went to the hospital and they saw my records. He said, punching wall, punching wall, punching wall, whatever. The doctor said to me, like, when you're punching a wall, is it hurting? The wall is it hurting you? And I just deep it, bro. I was thinking, right, like I'm really just hurting myself every time I'm punching the wall. That's true, man. In it, but in the moment, my nose is you're, you're letting the hurt out of you but, go onto the wall. Yeah. So it's kind of both, not gonna lie. I, I guess so. Yeah. So what I think, and and Islam's the same. He's had um, issues with his dad. Now let's let's speak about this. Let's be real. I'm gonna put this to a side. Actually, no, I'm gonna. I'm full, but I have one left. <laughs> finish it. Finish it. This is whoever's craving this. Wow. Duh, that's really that's what's like green at the bottom. Now nah, I'm finishing later, innit? Feed me. No, G, that's mine. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let, shall I speak or do you want to speak? Um, yeah. I want to set the tone. Go on, set it. And then, and then you can expand upon it. Set it good. What I've realized after this long is that we get to a certain age, yeah? where we think we know everything mm. yeah we think that we and and you that are watching this right now don't even try to deny this like be truthful to yourself whoever you're arguing with mm. uh, like whether it be your mom or dad you're thinking you're wrong and i'm right mm. yeah yeah like you're moving mad and everything i'm talking about makes sense to me mm. <laughs> correct yeah correct but the other person's perspective is this exact thing. I literally was feeding you when you was a kid. I taught you how to ride a bike. I, I watched your first baby steps. Your first words that came out of your human body. I witnessed that and mm. I taught you those things. So now you've grown up a little bit. You've chilled with friends and stuff. And you, 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 know, you, you, you think you've gone a bit smart. Yeah. Now you think that you know everything and I know nothing. That's the other your your parents' perspective mm. essentially. Yeah. And who's right in that perspective? Your yeah. your parents. Yeah. Of course. And and the reason they're right is because when you're communicating your disagreement with them, yeah. The way you're communicating, and this is in my case as well, is very, very disrespectful. Like like especially a man of the the family they yeah. have a lot of pride bro 100%. like they're running and we both come you come from the asian household i come from that our journey it's the same culture it's the same yes yeah, it's, it's a very similar yeah, culture. cultural setting um and i'm sure it is in in many africans it definitely in asian. africans like even my friends and stuff they're like yeah. the, the fathers have a lot of pride you know what i'm saying it's always like that yeah of course and and it's like they're going to work working hard they they would do anything your your dad would do anything and i'm I want to make a, a distinction between the the dads that every day because there's, there's dads that are like literally abuse their children i'm not talking about that Those, kind of yeah man. i'm making the distinction with just the everyday kind of dads do you know what i'm saying that work hard for their family they come home they eat they sleep they go back to work kind of thing mm. those dads would do anything for their kids and for their uh, and for their family essentially for mm. for their for their partner and for their kids anything they wear their heart on their sleeve the worst thing you can possibly do is to talk to them in a way where they feel like raw like their place what they're doing is that you're leveling them down yeah you're challenging their position basically exactly um and we spoke about this yeah. in quite some detail and bear in mind i'm someone who actually went to anger management because i used to dis literally i used to just be like bro you actually don't know anything kind of thing Imagine I'll speak to my dad like that. Mm. I was just, you actually don't know anything, kind of thing. And now I can't even dare to kind of speak to him like that. I you know what it is, yeah. Sorry because, to interrupt, but go ahead. What I was gonna say is also, bro. How we have to say is our parents have grown up culturally to, you know, respect their fathers in terms of like they would never reply back to their fathers mm -hmm. or like they would never challenge their parents. Does that make sense? And I think because we live in the UK, we live in London. It's very, I don't want to use the word westernized, but 
everyone around us is we're, we're cooped up of using this thing to challenge what we think is right mm -hmm. so naturally we challenge our parents does that make sense mm -hmm. so i think that's we're cooped up of using this thing to challenge what we think is right mm -hmm. so naturally we challenge our parents does that make sense mm -hmm. so i think that's where we're coming from do you get what i mean but it's not always the most right and i really do think one thing that i've understood it's not what you say it's how you say it 100 percent. a lot of the time like i'm pretty sure you you are too but we're coming from an intention where we want to fix things right and obviously so we have the anger talk does that make sense so so that for me alhamdulillah wallahi i'm so grateful for it i know how to communicate now and that's what we spoke about yeah yeah because like there's there'll be times i still disagree with my dad um but i just say it in a way where it's just not disrespecting his position at all at all because that one tiny bit of disrespect you're not even allowed to in our religion 100%. who the hell do you think you are like just just think about it you're disrespecting the man of the house your father that loves you more than anything that is willing to do anything for you literally that's his position that, that and and the best way i like to think about it yeah and this is something my dad told me um and since i was a very very young kid yeah mm. um and I've told you this as well. Yeah, you told me. If you're pointing a finger at someone, there's three fingers pointing back at you. I can't have still yet to understand it. So make me understand so they can understand. If I'm, if I'm. All right, calm down. Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if 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 I'm arguing with my dad. Yeah. If I'm, and then you're wrong. You're yeah. wrong. You're wrong. There's three fingers pointing towards me. Oh, okay. Which means what? Instead of saying you're wrong, yeah. I really need to assess my own actions and, and take accountability for what's coming out of my mouth. 100%. Before any, before even pointing the blame at someone else, I need to look at my, myself first. Mm. And I really, it took me years and years and years to and years to really, really analyze and understand what that meant. And now it's like a daily process, alhamdulillah. Like, bro, like I'm analyzing my own behavior and my own actions before pointing fingers bro and obviously i'm human i still mess up sometimes but it's the same principle lies like um, um the same principle applies what are you doing wrong mm. you know what i'm saying what actually yeah. are you doing wrong when i was in that situation with my dad my communication was disgusting mm. who the hell i look back and thinking <clears throat> man's punching walls am i a hooligan bro? yeah like you know what i'm saying no, hundred like, percent. Why can why do I get that angry? Yeah, like, like why do you have to get why do you have to get to that level to punch wall? Like yeah, bro, and and it's like you think you're so right, like in your head you think you're so so, and you so feel right. like you're not understood, in it. You feel like no one understands. No, you, I feel like I don't understand. No, no, I feel like um like people understand me, but it's like it was the problem with my dad. He just didn't understand me. No, okay, that's what I mean. Yeah, like, and and what it was was I didn't understand him. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a mutual misunderstanding. No, 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 it's not though. Well, what? I feel like, and we've spoke about this as well. Yeah. When I was communicating with your dad and the same with you, you said the exact same thing. It's like, why don't you change? Like, why are you, why are you yeah. still like this? Yeah. Why are you still like this? And I know hella people can relate, bro, because I've spoke about this with so many people and so many can relate. Yeah. It's just like, bro, like, it's it's the 21st century, bro. Mm. Like, like, why are you still like this? Yeah. But he's, what, nearly 50, whatever it is, yeah. They've literally been like this for their entire yeah. life, yeah. What makes you think they're going to change now, fam? And, and it's like, then yes people all human beings have bad traits but why are you not choosing to look at the good and and, and adapting to him instead you get me no do you, do you understand me yeah no i definitely hear you and it's like pe people like like our, our age they tend not to do that because it's just like bro i actually know what i'm talking about bro like I, I, do you know what i'm saying yeah. like and it's such a bad attitude bro it's such a bad attitude and you know sorry it's a defensive to, attitude Sorry to um, talk about this. I'm very passionate about this <laughs> subject. Yeah, because because like I, it's close to you. Like it's close. Yeah, I, I really can't hands, stand honestly. when people are like this with their parents, just because I kind of have gone through that and understand that the answer to that problem. And like I said, I'm very being like I'm talking about the generic parents kind of thing. Not there's parents that are not good to their children, and like I know you know there's cases and stuff. 
that's very like it's the anomaly kind of thing i'm yeah. talking about the generic kind of family structure um what i was saying what i was gonna say i was like it, it's very annoying to me and it's, it's very frustrating because like you have to look at yourself and think no you don't know in everything like be a blank canvas do you know what i'm saying yeah like I'll try to be understand open, like, don't try to impose yeah like, no i know what you mean do you know what i'm saying but for like also, I think it's it's it's, be, it's back to what I was saying, isn't it? Like naturally, you come with a defensive tone. Does that make sense? Like naturally, because you're so you think you're so right, you immediately come and shut down the other p person's point of view, their perspective, right? Um, for me, I had to realize, okay, why is it that I don't have this good rapport or relationship with my dad? Like, why is it that we clash? And for me, I had to, when I when I thought of that, yeah, I was thinking it's because I'm not even doing the basic things. I don't even sit down and have a conversation with my dad after work, you know? Mm. After he's had a long day of work, like, assuming he just wants to feel loved, and everyone does, does that make sense? So, really, I'm not even doing the least. Guys that's just really using my words, like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm basing off the conversation we had in it. So, I'm um, joking, carry on. It's true, no, but what you said is very true, which is why I'm saying it, like, no, your dad you. wants to feel appreciated. Every, bro, every dad does that make does sense? Not. So, for me, like, for example, the other day I went on a car drive with my dad and we had a real good, like, man-to-man -man conversation, if that makes sense. And for me, I know that we both really care about each other, but it's just that sometimes it's hard for us to get, we get lost in the source of each other. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, I'm trying to think, okay, like, what, what would you say to the people? Like, what would you say to the people okay. in, in our similar situation? That's what, what, I, what I'm... So, damn, you drank all of that. Yeah man, I'm thirsty. That was good food though, alhamdulillah. Like I'm very full. That, there was a lot of barakah in this Do you want to have this? Yeah, go on, feed me. Go on. What I'd say, yeah. Um, um, there's two things I'd say. Instead of looking at things from the surface, try to understand the intention. So, your dad has never intentionally hurt you or annoyed you. Like, I'm saying, even from my perspective, even when I was arguing and stuff like that, there was no, like, the intention was always pure, you yeah, get me? Yeah. For you, could you say the same or could you really? 100%. One, cause, cause they cannot 100%. intentionally harm you. 100%. Like, it's not in a parent's DNA to do that. Do you unless, know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, again, uh, yeah. unless like it's the, I have to keep on mentioning this by the way, cause if there is anyone out there that have suffered abuse from their parents, like I'm saying physical and- Emotional. Yeah, I'm not talking to you guys because there are cases out there, but I'm saying the, Every day, and for those, Sorry. I would advise you to seek professional help. Anyways. But 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 yeah, um, try to understand the intention. Yeah, uh, intention is everything. Um, and instead of like taking things from the surface, what they say, I swear to God, like they mean, they they genuinely want more for you than anyone. Then they want you. for themselves. Billion percent. They're the only people that you have in your life that want better for you more than they want for themselves. Correct. Hundred percent. And, and all of you lot have to say 100% to you. So when you're, having, 100%. when you're having a disagreement yeah, with them, I think that's what you have to have in mind. Do you agree? Mm. That, that's actually what you have to like have I'm in mind. I'm trying to think of a moment right now of arguing with my dad and like how I would have, you know, if I had that at the back of my mind, how would I have changed what I've said? 100, bro, oh, everything, gosh. everything. You wouldn't have, you wouldn't have communicated like, with him like he's the bad guy. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Because you would you have communicated with him like I understand where you're coming from, mm. but I feel like this is why I'm different kind of thing. Like the it, like the communication is so important and it changes so much, and it's so important to use. One the thing, sorry to interrupt, but one thing that I want to say is you know when you said to me set the pace, like as in set the pace in terms of start with like something to show that they have the the power. Does that make sense? So that so, was that's a really good. Okay, cool. So uh, when when I was speaking to Islam, yeah, I I used the policeman analogy. So there's a book called The Power of the Law of if it, I can't remember what the book's called. Um if I can find that, I'll put it in the description below. It's a very good book. It talks about the universal powers. There's an analogy in this book where it talks about the rough the rough lines of the book is is if you're a policeman yeah and i'm just a normal <clears throat> civilian yeah you come to inspect me or whatever for example i don't know who has the power in this situation me policeman or you have the power right oh well, me yeah the, the, you're the policeman oh yeah, yeah yeah so as a fed if you have the power and i was to speak wrongly to you or question you or or challenge you mm -hmm. is it gonna make the situation worse for myself or better worse because you have the power yeah 
like regardless nothing changes the fact that you have the power yeah as much as i try to take the power to me you still have the authority 100%. and it makes the situation a lot worse for me if i try to challenge you or whatever whereas if you are fed i can speak to you nicely to the third mm. give you the power <laughs> <laughs> give you the power yeah that you have yeah. because that's your that's your place yeah. That's, yeah. that's the policeman's power allow you that mm. And it makes the situation, the communication, a lot easier for me mm. because I've given you what you deserve. In 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 a sense, the same with your parents, bro. Give them that power because that's what they deserve, and it's only gonna be better for you, bro. You get me? Yeah. No, I agree. I definitely agree. Do you know what I'm saying? No, I think it works, which is why I brought it up. Yeah. I it, think it's a no. Good it piece. one. De- it definitely does work because think about this, people. Yeah. Let's just say if you're a dad or a mom, um, as you're watching this. And you know, you've brought your child up. Yeah, they went, you know, as being a cute baby, you're feeding them, changing their nappies, literally like, they're a baby, bro. They're unable to do anything. Mm. And you're doing everything for them. Yeah. yeah. Let's just say you, you right now that are watching this, are doing everything for a kid that's yours, yeah. And they grow up and they get a bit old, they get to the ages of 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, whatever, whatever. And they start moving like you're wrong. Mm. Bro, you're gonna feel like you little shit bag, bro. Like man was doing everything for you, you little shit. And now you're shit. giving me lip, like. Yeah, like, yeah. like, bro, like, respect me. You get me? Like, no, that's what, that's what you're gonna be. Thinking. And I think that's why, if anything, an argument or something heated starts. Does that make sense? Because they're they're thinking like, raw, like you're really coming with this. Does that make sense? Like, but if your friend disrespects you, you're gonna be like, why are you away, you're not gonna have it, innit? Imagine your parents, yeah. bro. Like, yeah, definitely. Like, and 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 I'm not trying to say like I'm on the parent side, but I am, like. <laughs> Yeah, but it, it, it's I mean, what I want to say at the end of the day, yeah, if you genuinely feel like there's anything like that's bothering you, that I don't know, like your parents have done or something, as I said, I don't communicate. Think, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But communicate in a way where it's like very respectful to them, but equally you're getting your point across. Does that make sense? And you know, you know, and sometimes it doesn't. Sorry. Sometimes, yeah, it's not always a sit down in front of each other communication. Maybe it's a walk. Maybe you have to go for a walk. My dad won't do that. Like a school, school, like. Yeah, like for example, my dad likes to drive. Well, he don't like to drive, but we go on a drive. Does that make sense? Because it's easier to have that com- conversation. And and bro, I like uh, again. A lot of yous might think, oh, well, it's very awkward, and mm. you know, like to but, talk to your parents. Go on. If you don't, if you okay, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No, no, no. I know on. what I want to say, but I'm trying to kind of gauge how I want to say it. But it's like these are situ- these situations are uncomfortable. They will never become comfortable unless you until you deal with the uncomfortable. Like, I still, to this day, don't you think, to this day, I still have uncomfortable conversations with my dad. Not everything I have is comfortable, does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So sometimes I'm like, oh, I really don't want to bring this up. But I'll bring it up for my, do you know what I mean? I just bring it up. And like I said, it, this comes back to the mental health thing as well. It takes a lot of balls to do that, innit? Like, it takes a lot of balls to tell the people that you love. And the people that love you the most in the world, your problems. Yeah. But it's so crazy because the things that take the most courage and the most balls are actually the things that make the most sense. Because they're like, bro, they actually you want nothing but the best for you bro if you have a problem you know logically bro they want to fix it more than you want to fix it bro you know what i'm saying yeah they want to help you more than you want to help yourself these conversations are the hardest co- and trust me you lot yeah i'm not like i like i don't like to practice what i don't preach yeah there's a reason i haven't done the transformation video do you know what i'm saying like yeah. i don't like to practice what i don't preach i like to see myself as a leader i like to lead by example, yeah. Mm. I went through that very, very difficult time in my life with my dad, and Allah did that so I can learn from it. Let's just say someone out there that's watching right now picks up something from our video and, and like thinks, you know what, they could change their attitude. Yeah, they could change their attitude by, you know, talking to their dad nicely and whatever, whatever, or their mum, whatever. Me going to anger management would make sense. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything would it's have made process. sense. Like everything would have made perfect, perfect sense. To lead you up to this moment. Exactly. And you know, you know, there was a point where. Um, sorry, I'm I'm just so full right now. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> so full right now. Same. But but there was a point where the problems with my dad were so bad, um, and and what's it called like we had like this little intervention session where with my granddad oh yeah you told me yeah yeah and after i came out of that it was like 
they still didn't get me like no one got me like no one was trying to and then i conceded defeat and it was just like you know what like i'm i, I really want to follow allah and his message mm. it doesn't even make sense that i disrespect my parents in islam that's the worst thing you could possibly do bro whatever i want I'm to do sure. now i want to do with respect and from they that they say like Jannah's on, Jannah is underneath your mom's foot like exactly he, you know, so. exactly and that is a close second you know what i'm saying and and it's like everything i want to do i want to do it with respect genuinely like genuine genuine respect and bro i'm not like the perfect son like there's still times where i disagree you know what i'm saying but mm. it's just like i can't be like the way i was it's impossible bro 100 percent. yeah and and it does come from a lot of maturing and understanding yourself more than anything you know what it's interesting you say that because i think that's the first step acknowledging your own actions because a lot of the time yeah that's, that's when the when i look thing yeah exactly that's you know what i'm saying because when i look back and when i was 16 17 18 yeah you're in that phase Two naturally funny <laughs> naturally yeah when you're going through this transition phase when you're trying to mature yeah you think you know it all. does that make sense mm -hmm. so i think yeah, that's much on your door by the way yeah same uh, yeah, it's, it's it's my parents anything else no that's it i think we've touched on everything can I just say? Just be hopeful. Yeah. Hopeful. And you made a way. What's that song? Hey, Ebs. Oh. How many likes for Mark Bang podcast with my brother? Two rats. <laughs> Candy that was beautiful. So dark. Was that? I think we should start rating the food, by the way, at the end of every video. Shall we? Yeah, like that's smart, G. Because then, you know, this for me is an, is a. It's an 8 out of 10. I'd give it an 8 out of 10 as well. 8 out of 10. Cool. We're rating the food now at the end of every That's a good little idea, though. Eee, you're, not that, you're not that useless. I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah, Let's wrap up you. the video. Let's wrap up the video. It's been your boy, it's everything. I'm, I hope you have enjoyed the topic. Uh, there's so many more things I could touch on, but unfortunately, we don't have that much time. What I do want to say is, if you got to this far into the video, which is it's going to be a pretty long video, so if you got into this far, this far into the video, if you're watching this bit right now, DM, DM, <laughs> DM me on Instagram and let me know that you've watched it right until this point. So I know you are a real one. My Instagram will be there. Islam's Instagram will be there and his TikTok will be in the bio. Make sure you go check it out. If you want to laugh, if you're feeling low, come to my mm. TikTok. Yeah, his, all he does in his TikToks is. Mm. Nah, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm leaving that. <laughs> We're going to cat TikTok slowly. Um, what's it called? Make sure you subscribe, guys. Until the next video. Oh, <laughs> what did you say? Sunday. Yeah. But I don't know when this is going to be. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Anyway, we're waffling. In a bit, people.